ride, everybody. We'll give you all a quick update. I know it's hard to tell because it looks a little orange, but this is the 1990 Marenser. She has started to take a little bit of a different shape and a color to her, so it thumps like a rock. I don't know what it's going to weigh. I honestly almost think the way that this one thumps that heck it might even beat the old Yetis yet. Plants still look terrible. I mean, back here it's fine where I shut off the water. <laughs> but here it looks terrible. I mean, it is what it is. It's late in the season anyways. We only got a couple more weeks, three, four more weeks for way offs, whatever. A few little stem issues here. I cut it off and I just doctored it up. And the reason it's got stem issues is there's, sorry, the reason it's got the stem issues is there's cracks there. This mark here was from probably, I don't know, a month ago, really. But the stem is massive on this thing. Huge stem. Big old Marenzi's, Marenzi versus Getty's. I still am having some issues with other mice. There must be some more mice here. And it's definitely growing because, sorry, it felt wind. There, we shut that off. There. So, um... It's definitely still growing because these stress cracks here in the last week have really showed up. So you can see that one there. Boy, it's a big one. I'm a little nervous about this one. Keeps cracking, keeping it dry. It's cracking clear down here. So, I mean, over here, it's still smooth as a baby's butt on this side of things. But boy, over there, she's got some cracks going on. So, one, that tells us it's not done growing. And two, makes you nervous. So, there it is. There's a Marenser. At one point in time, I don't even know where the heck it was. Maybe here? Maybe down there? I don't know. There was a huge mark. If you remember in my earlier videos, there was a big, like a splotch on it. It had just completely grown out of that splotch. So... Good luck at the Marenzers. Uh 1990 Marenzer here. Um, over a thousand pounds. Still growing. Still doing fine. I'm not doing a whole lot with the patch this year. It is what it is. The leaves are yellow. I really don't think it's a, I think it was just drowning them. Nothing really major with them. Because back here they're still good. You can see where there's all the vines growing again really green and healthy the plants themselves are still green healthy growing crazy i'm letting all the third stage growth go so let's go check out the gettys okay now we're back on the Mer getty side of things and you can see the plant still is in good health here and here it's really nice in the middle there's still a little yellow now it's starting to get a little bit yellower where it cut out where i'm letting the third stage growth go it's really green and healthy so that tells us the plant is very healthy the uh, stuff that I was doing was not. Now, I, I'm a giant pumpkin grower and I love pushing the limits. Definitely not a mistake. It was a learning curve. I didn't know exactly what was gonna happen with the things that I was doing last year, so now I make adjustments. I'm like, okay, that's what we did last year. We'll make little adjustments. I will still do some of the things that I did this year. Make some notes just change a few things that's what we do as giant pumpkin growers so without further ado it's hard to see the gettys now because i let all this third stage growth grow wherever it wants to i don't care i'm just letting it grow keep a healthy plant pumpkin will grow maybe it's not as fast as it will but maybe it'll grow longer heck i don't know i don't think anybody really knows so here it is there's the old gettys not done growing she's getting some age to her Got a little marks coming on here. Nothing to be worried about. It's just getting the cantaloping, as they call it. Middle section of it doesn't really have any cantaloping right now. It has outgrown all of my initial boards. It's almost as big as the dirt blanket that I have underneath of it. So generally when I put the dirt blanket out, I figure, well, it's big enough that it will cover it. I got like three or four inches here. And I think over there, it's actually off the dirt blanket side of things, which is fine. It's just could be used to drag it out. But 
it's a very wide pumpkin. As I've been saying all year, very wide. Now it's getting very orange. So here it is. Get a good old look. And I, you know, what old Trumpkin is what she's called. Trumpkin sounds pretty good. Trumpkin is also just growing freaking over her butt. I think her butt is right about here. Almost a foot in, maybe more. It is overgrown its butt. I've never had one do this before, but it's butt. I don't know, can you see it up in there? Is it, does it look good? I have no idea. What does it look like? Sticky way up in there. See what it looks like. I got a little fan going 24 seven on it. It's been growing 24 seven just to keep it dry. And who knows, the old frickin' mice might get underneath of here and ruin everything. That'd be a bummer, because this is a big, big pumpkin. I mean, it's definitely, I, think, I would say right now, it's getting to be my second biggest one ever, as far as measurement-wise now. It's gonna take a lot to beat the 1612 last year because it went so freaking heavy, and this one might go light, but there you go. A look at her. So I don't know if we're actually gonna name the Marenser. You can see on the backside the leaves that I was talking about. It is what it is. That's why I'm not worried about it. I'll probably cut some of those out. Cut some of those out over there. Most of the leaves on the backside will be cut out then. Just let the Gettys plant kind of take over over there. It wants to grow, I'll let it grow. So haven't named the Marenser yet. I mean it's over a thousand pounds we could, but I don't know. Whatever. Got some names you like, throw them out there. So there it is, there's your update. I've been seeing a bunch of big pumpkins go down and been seeing a bunch of big pumpkins growing. So hopefully everybody keeps theirs a going till the end of the season. Good luck everybody. Can't wait to see some people at some layoffs.